In Swift, both sets and arrays stores objects, but there are a couple of differences. Let's start with array. Array stores values of the same type in an ordered list. So the order is important here. Also, the same value can appear inside array multiple times at different locations. Set, on the other hand, stores unique values of the same type without an order. You can use set instead of an array when the order of items is not important and you want to ensure that each item only appears once. Let's go to the playground and write some code. Let's create array of items. As you can see, the type is array of strings. In order to create set, you need to assign array literal to a variable or constant with the type set. Let's do this. And let's print them. In the first one, the order is being kept and there is test one twice. In this set, there are only three elements and the order is not guaranteed. In fact, if you will run it multiple times, it will display it in a different order. Let's try this. And as you can see, there's like test two, test one and test three. Let's run this once again. And yeah, test two, test three, test one. So you have to remember that set does not keep the order as an array do. Let's try to add more elements to set and array. Because both sets and array are value types, we need to change it to var. To add a new element to array, use append. We have new element and it's at the end of the array. To add new element in set, use insert. And here we have hello. And if we will run this once again, it is like, yeah, in the middle. We can also change this and let's say test one. And as you can see, we have once again only three elements because sets is keeping only the unique values. So this test one has already been here. It is also a common technique of removing duplicates in array. Just convert it to set and back to the array. And let's use array. So we have the elements. Because we had it as set, the order will not be preserved, but you can always just sort them. So the order will always be the same. You can also sort set, and if you do, you don't actually need to convert it to array as it will be returned as array. Let's try to remove the array. And as you can see, sorted function is returning array of strings in this case. All items that you would like to store in set must conform to hashable. Sets use hash values for the fast lookup of items, so it takes the same amount of time to find an element regardless of the set size. So if order is not important and you would like to only have unique elements, go for sets. If order is important and duplicate elements should be possible, go for arrays. There is also a better performance when using sets, but the difference is usually not that big. I hope you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.